Welcome to my channel. I got a mum order in, a mum supply order, so I'm going to share that unboxing with you and also hold on for the end. I'm also going to show you some screen recording of how I order, so a little bit of that process. And this is from L&M Wholesale. Now, I was a little worried. Look at the box. There's a big old dome shape right there in the center, but they did tape this up very, very well. You can see that. But I was concerned. There's a lot of flowers and ribbons in there. Not a lot of ribbons, but some ribbons. And I was concerned that things may have gotten smashed or, uh, you know, messed up in some way. But I was impressed with all the taping they did on it. And here is the packing slip. And I love that it puts the prices on there as well. So you can see my flowers on top. And there's some three inch gold. And that flower right there got a little messed up, but I think it'll be fine on a mom. It was just a little bit smashed. And some silver ones. So I use three inch uh, on ring mums, and I can even use them on wrist mums too. It just depends on how big of a flower you want. Uh, those I believe are four inch, and they've got the iridescent on them. I needed some more four inch. That is a six and a half inch silver. I got one really large one. I believe that was a nine and a half, and I already have one or two, but just to keep adding to my stash. A couple of five inch with the iridescent on them as a little upgrade, or if I run out of the other ones, I can always use them. Yep, see they've got five inch written on there. Here's some three inch white. And I'm gonna hold that up to the screen so you can actually see the label. But you'll also be able to see, when I do this screen recording, when I show you that, you'll be able to see the stuff in my cart and the prices and stuff like that. And then I got a white bear. And I will just cut that ribbon off, that little tie, bow tie or whatever you want to call it, ribbon they have tied around its neck. I couldn't remember what size it was. Um, I could have just looked at the slip but they didn't I was just curious if they put anything on the tags but they don't I got a whole bunch of uh, trinket packs and then uh, trinkets as well and they do sell their trinkets in 12 packs so you need to be aware of that if you order you're not ordering singles you're ordering 12 packs but I sell a, a lot of trinkets on Etsy as well so I do a lot of homecoming supplies on Etsy as well as custom order stuff and some of the supply stuff is custom order uh, and handmade as well but I know a lot of these trinkets and trinket packs can be hard to find for individuals like in the, in stores or you know if they're trying to work on them early and stuff and a lot of people don't want to order and order in bulk or order online at all so uh, I like to buy more than what I need and then you know put them on Etsy like some of these theater ones and stuff, they can be difficult to find. And, you know, I'm going to have a bunch uh, for my stash as well. So it works out great. I don't mind buying a bulk if I can. Just keep adding to your stash as you can. And the choir ones, those can be difficult as well. And they didn't have, not everything was available in gold and silver. So if I just bought just gold or just silver in these trinket packs, it's probably because they were out of, of one or the other. Because I tried to buy them all in both gold and silver if they had them available. And this one is a popular too, the, co the color guard. It can be difficult to find as well. I know uh, last season, a lot of people were trying to find it. I had a few on Etsy, but they sold very quickly. And then people were contacting me and I just didn't have extras. So, and of course, having 12 this year, nobody will want one. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works out, but I'll have them. And I did have a few orders that needed them on there. So, and here is, these are mini ones mini packs and it's a drill drill team so it's really cute and I know I got that one in there's the silver color guard so I had it in gold and silver and I got the drill team in gold and silver too the little mini packs 
and then these were different. I didn't have any of these. They're longer ones. Go Team Go. So that's very generic. You can use that on anybody's. Um, um, black and white is always a good choice in color too. I love these dome-shaped homecoming ones. I love them. They're one of my favorite ones, especially on a mini mum, and you can put them on a wrist mum, and you know just the smaller mums too. So I love these Go Fight Win trinkets too, and they come in all different colors, and I just keep trying to buy more and more colors uh, to have a variety. So I've got a bunch of cheer trinkets this year. I just keep adding to the cheer trinkets because it seems like there's always a need for a lot of cheer trinkets. A lot of football trinkets definitely are the top two. So I got hunter green, I got emerald green, I got every color I think that they had available. I had a few colors, but not 12 of them. You know, I had a couple of of some of these colors, but not all of them. That's orange. I got burgundy. I believe that's the burgundy. It looks a little dark. It'll zoom in. Yep, the burgundy and white. Scrapbook. Does anybody put those on scrapbooks? <laughs> Royal blue. I guess it would be cute, wouldn't it? And then a couple of the 3D megaphones. I do. I was already good on megaphones except for uh, these two colors. So I want to keep adding to the amount of metallic and glitter megaphones that I have. And when you watch my craft room tour, the part one that I'm going to be working on, I go over all my baskets and stuff like showing you where what all I have in there you'll see how many 3d megaphones I have I also like the homecoming tickets I think that's a good classic one to have that one's just white and gold uh, these were different and they're a different brand go team just white and gold so you got to make sure if you're doing um, moms for offering for all different colors you got to have gold stuff you have to have silver stuff if you're just starting out and you're trying to do a variety of colors then get a lot of white and gold and white and silver trinkets don't even worry about the colored one because you are going to get into a lot of money if you're trying to get all the colors I just keep slowly every year adding adding more colors adding more stuff just a little by little and I love those class of as well I notice on Etsy a lot of people when they order they want class of blah 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 on there so it helps to have that trinket and there's ROTC that was another one that I needed some last year I had gold last year and no silver so now I've got 12 silver there's another one by that brand cheer megaphone black and white I love black and white trinkets because they're just so bold they just stand out and this is a diamond dust but it's striped diamond dust but it's not very wide. It was the only silver diamond dust, like the smaller that they had available. You see, it's it's got kind of a striped pattern in it. I can't remember the width, but you'll see it. I got one roll of, it was supposed to be satin luster, but it says something else on the roll. And it's not crisp white either, so it was a little, it looks like it there, but I, I compared it to one of my other rolls and it's not as uh, see they had the diamond dust in the number nine so I got that but they didn't have the seven eighths or the um, nine sixteenths so whatever the smaller one was was the one I got and I got some more five inch backers I just don't have the time or the patience to cut out a bunch of backers and I use so many five inch so I just bit the bullet again and bought some more backers for the five inch it is so much easier. Okay, so here is my cart. Now, um, I'm just scrolling through and showing you what all is in my cart. You'll notice that I did not get all this stuff because when I order, I'm like, oh, that's on sale or, oh, maybe I should get that color. Maybe I should get that. I'll add a bunch of stuff to my cart. And then when I go to the cart and I see the mount, I start going through the <laughs> the cart and going do I really need this one no do I really need this one is this really going to sell probably not is there a 1 in 100 chance I'm going to use this one you know I, I'm like okay what do I absolutely need okay now what can I get to that I want to add to my stash and in my supplies and help it grow so 
yeah, you'll see, I always do this. I always add way too much stuff to my cart and then <laughs> start deleting stuff. I just get carried away. I have fun ordering mum supplies. I think I do that pretty much anywhere that I shop online though. Let me know if you do the same thing. But you can see that I got, that I get them in different colors. So you can see the prices here now. You see there's some other backers I put in there, but if I'm gonna make any, if uh, diamonds or anything like that, I'll either cut them out myself or just use the smaller round ones and put the round ones together to make like I did last year with the hearts. To me, that's just as easy. If you've got a Cricut or a Silhouette or something, a scan and cut, you can, you can make your own template, your own backers. Especially if you're just going to do like one in one diamond one, you know. But if it's easier for you, order them. Just do what works better for you. Now I'm going to show you how you order from their site. Everybody's site is different. So you see there's bears, there's bells. They have pre-made uh, braids on there. A lot of this stuff I ignore. I don't need any more garters. I'm good on garters. Uh, they have some miscellaneous stuff unique things but they're out of some stuff too there's mascots you can get plush mascots there's all the backers so just click on that and then it'll show you see there's a big paw print you can get uh, you know if you don't want to mess with making your own you can certainly buy it and then they have some that have the the ribbon around it there's one with lace around it and it'll show you like what uh, if you click on one and I think I do here in a minute, so I'll wait and say that. <laughs> See, there's different size hearts. There's the football shape, Texas shape. They've got all different ones, all different backers. I will say those five inch backers that I get from them, they are a little bit on the, th the thinner side that I would like, but they still work really well. Just like I said, a little bit thin, um, but still very usable. Okay, there's the heart, and you can see it tells you what size flowers are for that heart. So if you're trying to decide, you're making your kid a heart one, your daughter a heart one, you can look and say, okay, which size flowers am I going to make? You know, how big of one am I going to make? So they make it very easy. And then there's ribbon. So there's the acetate, they've got wired ribbons, they've got the clear ribbon, they've got crackle, the cracked ice ribbon, the diamond dust, and there's the clear ribbons. I never buy those, uh, not that I don't like them, I, I like them just fine, I just, um, to me it's a big expense and I never get asked for them, not once have I been asked if I have those, so that I, I can remember anyway. I don't remember ever getting asked that. But you can get like the homecoming and they offer it in different colors, but uh, sadly they don't show the different colors. I don't like that. I think they should show what all the different colors look like so you can look at them, but they don't. But yeah, if you get gold, then you're, you can't use them on a silver. They do have a black and white, which is awesome. But if you're just doing like one school, then you can get tons of colors. Just, you know, focus on those colors. If it's everyone wants gold, then you can get all gold stuff. Everybody wants silver. Most schools are like that. Like, there's usually everybody wants gold or everybody wants silver, unless we are talking about, like, senior moms. But in the area that I live, most of the kids don't care about the, the white and silver or white and gold. It's another thing that's kind of... Uh, an area thing and there's okay now here's another thing they will have multiples of flowers say four inch eight eight layer so you have to pay attention to the price and are they is it 12 pack you know some of the sites will be like 12 pack or just one individual so you got to compare the prices and sometimes the layers will be different like one will be 15 layer one will be 20 layer but compare the prices like which one to me the 15 layer flowers are just fine you see this is a three inch nine 
layer and it tells you that it's got 12 and gives you the price over there. So I'm going to find another, I think I find another three inch and show you the difference in pricing. They don't offer duplicates in all sizes and colors, but in some of them they do. So don't just put the first one in your cart. You want to compare. See now this is an eight layer, three inch eight layer, but it's much cheaper and it's just one layer different. Three inches, a very small flower, one layer is not going to make a big difference. So I would go with, and I did go with the three inch eight layer. But like I said, the bigger ones, you know, like the five and six inch flowers, sometimes you'll see if, like I said, a 15 layer or a 21 layer. And honestly, I can't tell that big of a difference. You know, one's going to be a little bit fuller than the other ones, but by the time you decorate them, it's not that noticeable. So just go with your budget. Go with which one is the best price for you. You see, I put both of them in there so you can compare the prices. And it's just like I said, it's one layer different, so I'm getting rid of the more expensive one. And that's another thing I do. I'll put both in my cart, and then I'll compare them in the cart because it's a little bit easier if they're side by side. And I'll, like I said, I'll get rid of all those backers, go through and, and delete a bunch of stuff that I don't need. That is it. Here's a couple of pictures of my dogs because they're just cute, and I need to put them on there. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video was informative and useful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel right here. Here is one of my recent uploads. I hope, think you will enjoy that. Here is a playlist full of great videos. Here is another video you might enjoy. Click on any of those and it'll take you right to them. Uh, please consider subscribing and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications on my uploads, live streams, and premieres. And happy crafting, happy mom making everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day and be kind to others and be kind to yourself.